What if your credit application get denied at the most important investment of your life? Or maybe it's not just you, or not just them. Just because banks unfortunately misjudge your credit application. How did this happen? Well, apparently, banks rely on traditional credit scoring algorithm or loan assessment tool, which appears to be inefficient in determining whether or not a loan should be granted. What if we use artificial intelligence to make the right decision? Or even better, is to include this in our automation activity. Possibilities will be endless. Your credit history should speak for credit qualification. And this is Purcell, a pre-trained machine learning model which utilizes historical public credit data by World Bank. Today I will show you how you can easily incorporate credit grant assessment into your automation. One of the most challenging tasks I face when creating this model is properly cleansing the data so that it could provide the optimal accuracy and precision. The original data was skewed or very unbalanced. If I use the original data frame as the base for a predictive model, there would be lots of errors and the algorithms will overfit since it will assume that most credit requests are dispersed. But we don't want our model to assume. We want our model to detect patterns between the grant categories. So ultimately, I had to perform dataset resampling to make it reusable in my model. I used traditional undersampling technique to cleanse the data. The way we will undersample the dataset is by creating an equal ratio across the class. This was done by randomly selecting X amount of sample from the majority class being x, the total number of records with the minority class. After further processing the data and missing rows are removed or transformed, the data is then fed for training into my selected machine learning algorithms. I used and compared two algorithms, one of which is multi-class decision forest, the other one is multi-class neural network. The experiment requires lots of training iterations to finally optimize the weights of the parameters in each hidden layer and find the most optimal value learning rate. Selecting the right features for the training is proved to be one of the most crucial decisions as well. The decision forest provides excellent accuracy and fast training times, while the neural network boasts much better accuracy, however, with longer training times. I have evaluated both algorithm and can see the confusion matrix of each for comparison of their performance. In the end, I chose multi-class neural network as it provided a better accuracy and precision. After being satisfied with the experiment and its training results, I then generated a predictive experiment. This generates a more compact module with inputs and outputs with which I can deploy as a web service to be consumed by my UiPath custom activity. Now we'll look at how we can implement this machine learning model infused activity into our automation workflow. First are the parameters. The World Bank region to which the country and loan belong. Short descriptive project name. The regional US dollar amount of the loan that is committed and approved. Country to which a loan has been issued. The representative of the borrower to which the bank loan is made. Here is a snapshot of the validation data taken from my public ID statements of credits and grants data by World Bank, sourced from Kaggle dataset repo. This is a subset of original historical data that the machine learning model is trained with. You will see here that the actual credit status of each of the borrower, which served as the categorical basis of our training model. Given the set of input parameters, this activity will try to assess the credit request, and ultimately, its goal is to predict whether the grant should be approved or rejected as it has learned from the historical data. At this point, we can now run the workflow and see its prediction, and if we inspect the output from the prediction, viola, our grant has been approved. This is Corsell, and she makes you less worried.